hi beauty welcome to my channel if it is your first time what are you waiting for be a part of this amazing family and also click the subscribe button if you haven't already and if you're tuning in for the first time thank you for being a part of this amazing family don't forget to subscribe and uh, in today's video today is our day four of our diy uh we still got six months dates to go don't forget to share this video to your friends and family you never can tell who might benefit from it i'm going to be showing you how to make hot oil and this is consists of water and oil which is both are all soluble like a glycerite a glycerite it's more or less like a glycerite but it's very uh, beneficial on the skin based on the due to its uh, beneficial property and uh, plant extract the, and the ingredients used are all organic so made for uh, gotten from plant extracts so which are very very good on the skin beneficial on the skin to give the skin that natural radiant glow so uh, I have here my infused uh, calming donan flower which is, which is also known as uh, marigold and i've got my two powders yes the snow white and alpha abortin because i really want it very hot uh i'm doing a 30 gram and make sure you watch the video to the end so that you can get the recipe and the measurement okay i'm going to be leaving it at the end of the video or towards the end of the video in here i've got two powder extract and uh, one is the blueberry blue, blueberry extract and the other one is the dragon fruit extract the blueberry is very high in antioxidant also rich in vitamin c and e it helps a lot to fight against free radical fight against aging when cool helps fight um helps uh, prevent and cure acne and why the reason is it contains a salt known as the salicylic acid and we know the benefit of salicylic acid it penetrates deep into the dermic layer of the skin to help extract dirt and also clean the pores uh, promote skin regeneration so it's an amazing plant extract that i'm incorporating in this uh, mixture and the dragon fruit extract is amazing it's good uh, it helps to fight and treat some bonds. Yeah, it contains loads and loads of antioxidant. You can use it this you can also add this if you're making like a vitamin c serum to help boost it is good it helps to lighten up the skin as well uh, i'm not going to go into the benefit of all this uh also i'm going to be using my jama plus as my preservative using the extract as well in it because i'm using i'm using the dragon fruit extract and i'm also using the uh extract the powder form to help boost that you know to give us that to help boost the skin potency that is the uh, beneficial potency that we want in it i'm using it i'm going to be making a 30 ml 30 gram i mean yeah the same 30 gram of this mixture so uh the measurements are all measured out so i'm going to uh, infuse this uh double boy days my infused caledonian uh, water and add my powders in it to dissolve then add this as well and come back so i've added my powder and uh, you can see well dissolved so that's why i always stress <laughs> on my channel that you need to get the original when you get the fake one you're just wasting your time original powder goes a long way the snow white and the alpha protein are well dissolved so yeah i'm going to measure out my glycerin glycerin exactly what i want so i'm gonna leave this i'm gonna add this into it this is already dissolved i use the water from here measure out i didn't add any extract make sure your quantity the quantity uh make sure your measurements are same as the ingredient as line uh, in your recipe this is my recipe book make sure the ingredient uh, what you measure out are exactly the same so I'm gonna add this into it this will help change the color of the stuff you can add the powder direct to it 
but i just love to make sure my powder is well dissolved because i don't want to see any crumbs in it so yeah make sure your work area are well clean and sanitized so yeah you can see the color now is changed so we've added our powder dissolved powder extract into it so the next stage is for us to add our propylene glycol um and the then we're gonna add our um glycerin uh before i do that i'm gonna add the extract this extract but make make sure this will be the last with your preservative then we take the um ph the ph is going to be a bit high so we do our uh, ph uh, we carry out our ph adjusting uh, solution uh which is the ph modifier to help increase or decrease it so next is to add our glycerin so we add it gently and stir okay. well dissolved so the uh, glycerin is soluble in water so i'm gonna add the uh, our extra then add the preservative So I need to measure out for the dragon fruit percentage. I'm using one percent for the dragon fruit. Dragon fruit, uh, dragon fruit extra. This is an amazing. I don't need to go into details of all this, but you can go with it. Yeah, exactly what I wanted. So I'm gonna add my preservative. My preservative, German Plus, one percent. You see, there's no, there's no oil floating uh, at the surface of the water. So, very, very good. If you want to use essential oil, you can use. But in this case, uh, you have to get a filter. You know, the coffee filter. You leave it, when you add your essential oil, leave it for 24 hours. So that the benefit of the essential oil can um, absorb into the oil product this auto oil we are making then you get your coffee strainer and, uh, and sieve it out so that you can it's not compulsory because the benefit we are using here the ingredient we are using is very very beneficial to the skin purely organic and uh, it contain uh, two <coughs> addictives half abutane and snow white so so the next one is to add the propylene glycol to help bind all this component together. Propylene glycol work same as a gl uh, glycerin or glycerin. Uh, uh, above all, it helps to bind the whole component together so that it can work well on the skin. So I'm gonna add the, the propylene glycol. Yeah, I'm using O point. I'm gonna leave the O uh, weight at the end of the. So I'm so i need to check the ph coming back so i'm gonna take the ph why i say this is very good this uh, ph strip is very good when you're taking uh P when you want to take the ph of your lotion serum and all that stuff this ph the other one no you can't use it you won't get a accurate pa this is ideal when you you want to take the ph of soap and other stuff uh for those of you that will be training with me i'm going to detail it out and also give make it much easier on how you can calculate your oil and um emulsifying uh how you can work out the ratio between oil and emulsifying wax that is how to percentage of uh wax to use when you are when you want to make your lotion or you want to do skincare formulation so for those of you that want to train with me 
you get to get that benefit and instead of you cracking your head or assuming or giving unnecessary uh, percentage this is easy the ratio is amazing you can't go wrong with it so with this I'm gonna try it I'm gonna check the pH now I already know what the pH is so just have to wait a little bit you can decide to put it in or you get a small this I'm you I'm gonna use this I already made a bigger bash so the bigger bash uh, I wanted to do the video but I forgot I didn't know that my camera wasn't running so I decided to show you this because of the DIY I promise that I, I, I won't miss any of the uh, at line um, the, um, I won't miss any of the topic at line there so I'm gonna fulfill my promise about the DIY the 10 days today we are in the fourth day with the remaining six days to go so yeah i'm gonna so we've waited a bit let me just i just want to dry it off then let's check so i hope you guys can see the ph it falls within five so you can see hope you guys can see the pH falls within five that is five point something so it falls within five so use I try using this uh, but I'm not gonna dip it in there you can see there's no but it shows that the, uh, the pH is okay but you can't get a basic idea of where exactly it falls into if you have to check yeah it's from it doesn't really indicate so if i'm gonna assume i'm gonna assume it's just within um six so this is not an accurate ph for you to use when you want to take your uh the ph of your skincare like uh cream uh, uh something like this hot oil serum and so so this is ideal to use so yeah there's no need for us to do any pH adjustment or pH modifier. There's no pH fall within the skin. The recommended pH range uh, in which our skin falls into. Also, it's compatible with the powders, the whitening addictives I use and the pH of the German Plus. So it's an excellent, you can't go wrong. This works perfectly. Um, people sell this. Uh, people that sell this in the market and call it malaysia they had all kind of all sort of funny they add all sort of stuff into it some even add the uh, hydro you know add all kind of products into it that when you use it you the hotness is just too much and the smell it smells so funny if you want to add fragrance into it, you can add because i'm using this i'm not going to add fragrance i don't like really like adding fragrance into any of my face cream but Trust me, it smells good. It smells good because of the extra, the blueberry and the dragon fruit. It's an amazing uh, oil that you can also incorporate in your into your cream, or you can use it at night. Yeah, you can use it at night on its own. This is an amazing oil. I love it so much. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and bye. See you tomorrow in the next. DIY, day the, the five DIY. Bye. <laughs>